So Knack, yeah. Knack, but 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 you're 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 far out of the dating market. You probably haven't had the date. I mean, the last time you had a date was in your twenties. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm just saying, not an insult. I'm saying though, a lot of guys are speaking on the dating market. I'm 36 years old, right? I'm you're, you're older than me, right? You have a lot more experience, than me, uh, Mr. D, as well as Gaines. But if you're not in this dating pool, you're in your 20s or 30s, early 40s, and you're you're actively dating. You're you you never really went out with any of these girls. You see it. You you're not you like maybe you have some little cousins or nephews or something that's in it, bro. But come on, man. I'm telling you as a 36 year old man, it's fucking difficult, bro. It's difficult. And, 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 I, and, I, and, I, and I'm not saying I don't get girls. I just went on a date yesterday. I go on dates. I'm not one of the struggling guys per se. But even for me, I'm like, damn, if I was a complete like loser or not even a loser, but just a guy like and I'm in Miami. So <laughs> and then, uh, uh, problem number two. Right. I'm in a, a city that's super superficial. Right. And just uh, there's a bunch of shit going on here. But when I was in D.C., when I was in Pittsburgh, you know, it was it was it wasn't as easy as you would think it it would be. And and back in the, in the 90s and, and, and two, early 2000s, it was just different. I mean, it's changing each year. And so, yeah. I mean, Gaines or, or Mr. D, I don't know if you guys want to jump in, but Knack, I mean, let's be honest. Let me, let me, let me, let me rap because I got to get this money. You already know. I only, you know, tap in right before I get this money. So now check this out. I'll give you that. It's harder. Pause. But now what is the reason? Is it because these women are black American women? Or no. is it because now we live in an internet age? Bam. Where people are becoming socially awkward because they're not meeting each other and the younger people think it's weird to cold approach. Younger you people mean... think it's weird to give a girl roses. It, it, everything is weird. and uh, We're living in the internet is a blessing and a curse. Because we have so Come much on, access man. to everything, brothers don't know how to speak to a woman in the club. they rather just look for her IG. And see who she's tagged in. And she's tagged in on the strip club's post. And then they'll send a DM. So yeah. this internet age has made people less social. So dating, see? at some point, you're going to have to meet people in person. When you meet these people in person, what are you doing? How are you speaking? What do you speak about? If you have Tinder on your phone right now, then that's part <laughs> of the problem, bro. They because don't know how. Have they, they, they don't. Of, they have a whole bunch of a whole bunch of um options, right? And there's just swiping, swiping, swiping. And what they're doing is they're swiping off of these these photos that that are lies a lot of times, and the brothers are getting lied to as well. And then they meet up, and then the shit goes to shit. So then they end up just smashing. Mm -hmm. Let me let me let me touch on this real quick. Let me just touch on this. And I've said this in practically every single stream that I've been on with men tuition. I've said this over and over again. If you eliminate <clears throat> social media, the internet, and all this access, and you bring it back to ground zero, and we're talking the 90s, we're talking the 80s, okay, where we were not traveling abroad. Everybody mm -hmm. was on the block, in in their hood, and that's the only the the relationships happen there. Okay, mm -hmm. now I constantly reiterate this over and over again. The first passport outside of passports that was given was that virtual passport given by the internet and social media mm -hmm. where now you have both men and women on it right like you said options open up but for women they had better odds on there than men so women started to get flown out taken here meet this person meet that person meet somebody that's making six or seven figures. Mm -hmm. What happened was these women were raised how these third world country women are living, not the conditions, but were raised as well. The problem was 
the exposure to these lifestyles changed their standard. And when it changed their standard, it made it harder for the average man to get with any of these women. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now these women are chasing the unicorn. But see, the problem is the unicorn, because of the level that he is on, the floodgates are open to him. So he can pick and choose whoever he wants. Knock it down, moving right along. Never getting married. Mm -hmm. And now you got a bunch of hurt women. So what do hurt women do? Or what do hurt people do? Hurt people hurt people. So now you take the average nine to five that you would call a simp who's mm -hmm. going to show real love, who's going to show compassion, who, who wants to sh exhibit strength, be a protector, be a provider, get used. And what happened? That hurt that that man got created these movements, red pill, passport, all this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. Men were looking for connection especially the black man, mm -hmm. because that's all we had. All we had was our black woman and our family, okay? Women's liberation was not a black woman's movement. It was a white woman's movement that black women tagged along on. Mm -hmm. Now, now, he, here's the thing, here's the thing, now, when black men go overseas, they receive the connection. It doesn't matter whether it's with a pro, whether it's with a, a stripper, whether it's with a masseuse, whether it's with someone that is working a nine to five or a real estate agent, they're getting the connection. And because they're getting the connection there, when they really want it here, they're not getting it here because, again, hurt people hurt people. And when these women hurt these guys, the anger propels them to start, I'm red pill, to start passport bros. So now they're overseas, and then what do the women do? They go for the dudes that mean them no good. So in the end, nobody wins. Okay. So yeah. the whole thing is, let me tell you something. That's why they say by 2030, 75 to 80% of women will be single. We yeah. got to get it together. We got to, yeah. listen, it ain't nothing wrong with traveling. It ain't nothing wrong with going overseas and grabbing a shorty and this, that, and the third, and you having fun and you rock, knocking down a stripper and all that. The whole thing is, like I even said with the travel, if that's what you're going to do, then do it. But do it in a way where you're leveling up. You're not staying at the bottom. You don't have to be with the pros. You don't have to be with the strippers. You don't have to be with the nine to five. You could be with the real estate agents out there. Mm -hmm. The point in life, the point in life is to level up. And that, that doesn't mean just level up so you could bag the shorties here or you could be the kingpin in, 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 in South America. No, you level up in life because that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. It's about evolving. It's about growing. Yeah, I can go deeper and I can talk about the purpose of life. But right now we here talking about, you know, it, it's a debate with, let me tell you something. If you go overseas and you find a woman over there or you like going to see women over there, go do it. Yeah, man. Shout out to Mr. D. Uh -huh, Dropping bombs on the chat.